Hey guys, what's up reaction here? And uh, I just want to quickly go over motion masking because it was requested by someone. Um, I'll put the channel in the description. Um, uh, I'll both go over both well basic motion masking and then some tips to help you. And then I'll also uh, show you how you can make a sort of an anim uh, like an animation import to uh, After Effects, which will be a bit later in the video. But first things first. Uh, you'll notice sometimes it'll be hard to mask your clips because you'll get these weird frame blending shenanigans over here in this direct. Oh Jesus! In this uh, oh Jesus Christ! In this direction, you'll see like right here, it's trying to blend the uh, like all these frames together by making uh, ghost frames, and that's gonna make it really hard to mask. Sorry about that. So the uh, the way to fix these sort of ghost frames or blending frames whatever you want to call it uh, it's to just go properties uh, right click properties disable resample and that will make it so it'll force Vegas not to blend the frames so it doesn't make it all fucked up and stuff and it not putting it on disable resample can cause a lot of rendering fucking fuck ups sometimes so uh, just always remember to put it on disable resample, and for basic ma basic masking, of course, you're just gonna do like you're gonna go to event pan crop, click on the mask, uh, the mask checkbox, go to the uh, anchor creation tool, and then just uh, start your mask wherever you want or whatever you're masking. In this case, I'm just doing a, a green jow. So yeah, you know, go around your. I'm just gonna. I'm not actually gonna mask. I'll just, you know, follow the outline of what you're masking, and uh, you'll get to a point where you can't mask anymore. So once you do that, let's just say I masked around the whole lines of him here. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and let's say I masked him perfectly here. And what you're gonna want to do once you get here is just go around to the end, and there's your mask right there. Um, of course that's not what it's gonna look like it's gonna look more like this this is uh, a mask I already did a motion mask I already did here and uh, what uh, what you're gonna want to do after you mask this to see you want to make it a motion mask is you can there's there's two options you can go to your mask and go frame by frame like next frame okay nothing's changed so you don't have to uh, change the mask and the next frame you see something's changed there's two ways of doing it. If the lines just slightly changed, you can just uh, move move around the uh, the uh, mask like key points, like this, and uh, whatnot. But I personally just redo the whole mask if they're so far away, because from here to here that'd be a lot of moving, and sometimes it just it can really fuck up. So I just personally delete the mask by using the uh, anchor deletion tool and then remask it again and whatnot, and then yeah, so. That's how I do it, and that will eventually get your whole mask, and you'll eventually get something that looks along the lines of this, which is what you want. Sorry about that again, um, but yeah, as I was saying, you're gonna eventually finish all your masks, and you should get something like this. So that I, this frame masked out, and the next frame doesn't change. Next frame, I remasked it. Next frame, nothing changed. Next frame. Uh, remasked it, then went ahead till another frame changed. So right here, I remastered. It. it doesn't it usually doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be going pretty fast, so people won't really notice it. And uh, so it should look just fine. Then you can put that over top of your clip. Usually, I save the project files of what I masked, so I don't have to remask it again after. But that's just me. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to load something up, and I'll be right back in a second. Alright, so this is uh, sort of a quick way of masking something that's really long and you just you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it, but you want that specific mask, if you know what I mean. Um, this way it pretty much, uh, well, it's pr this is pretty much the easiest way of masking I could think of. Uh, for this you're going to need Photoshop and uh, After Effects for it to work. but. Um, what it is, you're going to want to get the clip that you want to mask out. It has to be 
something like this. It has to be the person and the background one solid color, a different color than the other person. So this it will work really well because it's the person with like red hair, so it's Yoko from uh, Goon Logon, and the background is white, so it'll be really easy to do. And uh, then you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna render as, and you see I already have it pre-rendered here. You're gonna wanna go down to videos for Windows AVI, uh, hit the custom, and write down these settings. You're gonna wanna check include video, uh, put HDV 720, uh, field order none, pixel aspect ratio one, video format uncompressed, interleave every seconds, uh, or every well, bracket seconds check, interleave every frame check. Uh, check create an open uh, DML AVI 2.0 compatible file then for audio you can include it if you want if, if not just uncheck it and then uh, video rendering quality you just want to put the best save that as whatever I named it 720 PhD Hit OK and then just render that out and I have it rendered here already so I'll be right back and I'll load up Photoshop quick alright now that we got Photoshop uh, loaded up here you're going to want to go to file import uh, video frames to layers and what that'll do uh, you can, well, first you're going to want to locate your file so here's the mask or the the file I want to mask rendered out I open that up with Photoshop and you see here it shows a little preview you're going to want to check from beginning to end and check make uh, frame animation and you'll see here it's animated and it'll play out hit OK and it should load up and we just let it load quickly alright you see here it's loaded in a whole bunch of different layers and uh, what we're gonna do what you will to get this uh, animation frames you're gonna want to go to window and then check check this animation uh, option right here it'll open up this animation sort of uh, stuff here so I'm just gonna quickly uh, uh, well actually first every time you do a new uh, f uh, animation frame you're gonna have to click on the animation frame and then click it on the layers panel also so go to the first one go to the first layer and then you're gonna wanna uh, click your eraser tool and hold it and then select the magic eraser tool and uh, put the tolerance to about 50% I suppose so 50% seems good and uh, you just want to click away the parts that you no longer want. Uh, don't really, if, if you don't want the pink part there, you can get rid of that also. Uh, so yeah, that's what you're going to want to do. I'm just going to quickly go through all of it, and I will uh, uh, be right back. Alright, well I didn't want to take the time of going through all the layers, so I just did a, just a few of them. And I'll show you quick, I'm just going to delete these other layers that we aren't going to use. And delete these frame lines I dispose of those no, just uh, hold on uh, hold on one second what if I can just delete those okay that didn't work oh, I'll just leave those animation frames there but it'll only do the six layers that I actually got rid of stuff so you see I just erased the background and it'll give you a transparent background here and what you're going to want to do is after you've done that you can want to select the first layer and click File, Export, and uh, Render Video. And you're going to want to render it as, let's say, yoko.png and render it to wherever. Uh, select Folder. Uh, I'll select my Videos folder. So we go uh, to Videos and we'll go to render files alright and we'll just not create a subfolder and we're gonna wanna save it as image sequence PNG uh, starting at zero digits for document or size document size 1280 by 720 or whatever resolution you rendered it as uh, range all frames um, alpha channel straight on matted frame rate uh, the frame rate of this video is 23.9 uh, 976 but you're gonna wanna use the frame rate that you rendered it as so, uh, so yeah, just uh, do that, and then just hit render, and it'll render it out in a little thing here, and I'll be right back once it finishes rendering. 
Alright, now that the video is finished rendering, you're going to want to open up After Effects like I did here. And you're going to want to find that PNG sequence you just uh, you just got or you just rendered out. And you're going to want to go to... Uh, you're, going to you're going to want to find it here. And you'll have all these freaking PNG files all over the place wherever you rendered it. Uh, not to worry though. You're, just want to, you're going to want to go to File, um, Import, uh, File, go to... Um, where is it here? Where is it here? Mega Kid uh, Video. Alright, you're just going to want to select the first image of the render sequence, and it, as you see, it'll select all those images from the render sequence, and we're just going to want to make a new composition with that. And depending on what you used as footage, it'll, uh, it'll appear different like you'll see there's a little white border but that's not that big of a deal uh, you could there's easy you could just blur it a bit and it'll fix that so uh, it's really not that big of a deal seeing how you're saving so much time doing this like you could do a five second mask in like 30 minutes maybe even less whereas if you did normal masking it would take you hours to do so yeah I just found this to be really easy to use and if you wanted to import this to Vegas after you could just go uh, 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 layer new solid and uh, change the color to like a green and then just stick that under and then that's way you can uh, chroma key it out and as you see since I put the uh, the background on all the white edges disappeared as well so it just depends what it's up against as well so uh, yeah that's just a way I found to make masking a lot easier so if you guys uh, have any suggestions for future tutorials leave a comment PM me whatever um, if this helped you at all just let me know if you have any questions about it also let me know I'll try to help you as much as I can and also remember to subscribe for future tutorials and yeah so uh, see you guys later